Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy M35 and today I'll show you how you can enable and also set up your Do Not Disturb mode. We're looking for the Do Not Disturb toggle, which should be on one of the pages. If you don't see it on the first one, swipe to the left and this will show you additional pages. For me, that's where the toggle is located, right here. Once you see it, if you're doing this the first time around, I recommend holding it and then selecting Details. And this will take you to the settings. Here, obviously, you can customize how the mode will function. I'm going to go over just a couple of options right here. So number one would be, the more important one, obviously, would be uh, the schedule. There is always one that is pre-made called sleeping, starts at 10 p.m. ends at 7 a.m. That's the same thing for basically every phone, every brand. Uh, you can edit this one if you want to, uh, or create new ones by selecting add schedule. And this allows you to select days of the week, start and end time, uh, and this will automatically toggle on and off your do not disturb mode. Now, if you're planning to use schedule mode, just make sure that it is toggled on in here like so. And that's all you would need to do. Now scrolling a little bit further down, we have uh, options for calls, messages, notifications, alarms, and sounds. Uh, so you can go over those, customize them to fit your needs, and once you've done so, uh, you can close this. There's one last thing that I will talk about, which is the for how long. Uh, by default, do not disturb mode is set to be turned on permanently till you turn it off yourself. So if you're not the type of person that uses it often uh, or tends to forget about the things, uh, like do not disturb mode, I would recommend changing this. And you have the option to select it on a timer, which is something that I personally like. I would just make it a bit longer, like four hours, which for me, I wanted to cover whatever I would need at any point, plus maybe a little bit of time extra. And with this being said like so, when I enable it manually, meaning not through the schedule, so if I tap on it, it will turn itself on for the exact specified time, which is four hours, after which it's going to turn itself off. So I don't need to remember about it. But if I do, I can tap on the title once more to disable it. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.